everybody, I'm Jason Shadrick with Premier Guitar. We're here for another PG Gear Spotlight. And today we're joined by Craig from Bose, who is going to walk us through the new L1 Pro line of, uh, of PA systems. So Craig, thanks so much for joining us, man. Hey Jason, thanks for having me. So uh, the, the new L1 Pro series comes in three different models. And we're going to kind of walk through the, the differences and similarities of each. But let's start with the, the first one there. Sure. So the L1 Pro system is a uh, replacement for our legacy L1 portable Android products. L1 Pro uh, improves performance, improves portability, and also ease of use with a totally new I.O. So the idea is to, to improve that experience all across the board. So a total user upgrade from the existing L1 family, which has been around for 17 years. Starting off with the L1 Pro 8, which is the replacement for the L1 Compact. We've got eight drivers in the mid-high array versus four in the Compact. We've got an extension, and we've got a 7 by 13 inch racetrack transducer as our subwoofer, as opposed to the 8 inch round driver. Uh, the, tr the racetrack transducers give us an efficiency of speaker cone surface area, so we're able to uh, get more low end and more volume out of a slimmer but slightly taller package that fits easily in, this, in the back seat of your car, takes up less room on stage, uh, and also is easier to carry because of the, the, the better center of gravity. Next up is the L1 Pro 16. This has 16 transducers in the mid-high array, uh, an extension here. This is a J-shaped array, um, which allows you to put it on, on the floor as well as on elevated stages with a, a beam that shoots down towards your audience. Um, we've got a 10 by 18 inch racetrack transducer here in the L1 Pro 16 uh, that rivals uh, 15 inch subwoofers, as you can see in a really economic package that's still relatively easy to carry. And then we've got the L1 Pro 32, which is our replacement for the L1 Model 2 uh, the L1 Pro 32 has got 32 drivers total in the mid-high array, as well as a very compact power stand, which is much more portable. That also features a complete I.O. panel, just like the L1 Pro 8 and the L1 Pro 16. We've got two sections with 16 transducers each, as well as the power stand. And that pairs with either a sub-1 or sub-2 powered subwoofer. Those subwoofers use the same 10 by 18 in, and 7 by 13 inch racetrack transducers as the Pro 8 and Pro 16 do but uh, just in a, in a slightly larger package, allowing us to tune a little bit lower and get a little bit more volume. These are powered subwoofers, so we have a little bit more options in terms of usability and modularity, such as phase shifting, cardioid mode when using two, um, and also use with other products that are not in the L1 Pro family. Can you tell us a little bit uh, the difference between uh, bet the difference between a line array and like a point and shoot system? The L1 Pro portable line array family are what we call line source versus a point source, which is a typical uh, two-way loaded box mounted on a pole most often. So point, source, point sources have to be pretty loud at the source in order to propagate sound throughout the whole room. The drop-off over distance of a point source is less efficient than a line source. So with a point source, every time you double the distance, you lose approximately 6 dB, as opposed to a line source, which works together as one unit, spaced accordingly, and engineered to propagate sound together as one unit you lose roughly 3 dB every time you double the distance. So we just have a much more efficient way of delivering this audio. As well as the configuration of our, of our articulated line array, it allows us to propagate that sound in a 180 degree horizontal beam. So we can place it in the wall and, and basically cover an entire room, as opposed to having a more narrow beam on a point source system. And one of the new things you guys have with this is, is a new app that allows you to kind of pick certain EQ, EQ curves depending on the, the type of guitar you're playing. Can you tell us a little bit about the app and, and the tone match technology? Absolutely. The app is called L1 Mix. It's available for phones and tablets on iOS or Android. And what L1 Mix is essentially, it's the I.O. panel that's on the units in your back pocket. So I'll take you behind the unit so we can kind of do a quick comparison of the L1 Mix screen and the I, actual I.O. panel. The I.O. panel is identical for L1 Pro 8, Pro 16, and Pro 32. So starting from left to right, we've got channels 1, 2, and 3. And you can see a clear channel delineation with selectable volume, treble, bass, and reverb on channels 1 and 2, uh, volume, bass, and treble on, channels, on channel 3. Um, we've also got channel mutes on each channel. We've got tone match selectors, which is what you were alluding to earlier, Jason. This is a... Uh, so this is a built-in EQ optimized for dynamic handheld microphone and piezoacoustic guitars as well as off. With L1 Mix, you can access the tone match library of presets. So if you've got some very specific equipment, 
For example, I've got a Shure SM58 here. I can go into the L1 mix, select the microphone bank on that channel, select the Shure folder, and then select SM58, and I have an EQ that's optimized for my instrument. And then the corresponding LED changes to green to indicate that I've got a custom tone match preset loaded. You've got combo input jacks that can take a XLR as well as a quarter inch. Both of those channels are phantom power. Channel three is your Bluetooth streaming channel, which of course has Bluetooth as well as a 3.5 millimeter stereo summed input jack and a quarter inch mono jack. We also have a system EQ, which optimizes for live music if you're a singer, songwriter, recorded music if you're a mobile DJ and also public speaking. And then lastly, we've got a full bandwidth line out via balanced XLR. We've got a tone match port, which you can connect to a T4 or T8 mixer, provides power and digital audio to both of those products, as well as a USB-C port for making firmware upgrades throughout the life of your product. So what'll be the, the price points between the three different uh, variations of the new L1 Pro? So the L1 Pro 8 retails for $1,199. The L1 Pro 16 retails for $1,799. And then the L1 Pro 32 comes with either the Sub 1 or Sub 2. That retail configuration with the Sub 1 is $2,699 and with the sub two is thirty ninety nine. So when, and, and it's available now? People can go uh, check them out online and, and order them now? The L1 Pro 8 and the Pro 16 are available and shipping now. The Pro 32 sub one and sub two will arrive in mid January and start shipping then. But users can place pre-orders for the Pro 32 sub one and sub two. All right, Craig, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us today about the new L1 Pro system. I'm gonna have you play us out with something. This is Jason Shadrick with Premier Guitar. There's a stain on my notebook where your coffee cup was And there's ash in the pages, now I've got myself lost 